Hey guys, welcome back, it's Andy here. Another video comparing the uh, Google Nexus Nexus 5 against my trusty Gan Galaxy S4. Now I must apologise, I know where you can look at that. I cracked the screen, look, how embarrassing. How shameful, I'm so glad the Nexus 5 came out when it did, I, I cracked this last week. It still works, but uh, yeah, just a bit embarrassing really, isn't it, when you go, oh yeah, look at this video, oh yeah, I've cracked my screen, I'm an idiot. Dropped it on a cold, hard garage floor at Snetterton. Anyway, so it still works. Um, I've put stock a stock run back onto it um, to run some some tests, one against the other. Um, we're going to start off with a good old-fashioned Angry Birds opening test. Some people say makes no odds at all. It's totally worthless, but hey, I'm doing it anyway. You make your own video. So I'm going to try and start them at the same time. We'll do best of three, as usual. I've never actually played Angry Birds Star Wars. I just don't, oh, Nexus 5 has the edge at the minute. Still got the edge. Yeah. Goodness. Both the volumes are up. I will tell you now as well, the screens are both on 100% brightness. Um, just if you're wondering, kind of rather than a screen test, you just see as we're going through, they're both on 100%. So, 1 0 to the Nexus 5. Can it? Can it win two of the three? It looks like it's going to. It gets that edge on the initial splash screen here, and then it seems to be the same same sort of gap as it goes through. Okay, so the Nexus 5 won that. It's just the initial launch seems to be that a little bit quicker. Let's move on to a GPS test. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to reset them both. I come out of them both. Literally, both of them are just installed GPS uh, status toolbox. One of 26 on the S4, nothing on the Nexus 5. 4, 449, so we've got a block on the S4. The Nexus 5 is really struggling. Still not. Okay, not so good then. The uh, the S4 is as accurate as eight meters, nine meters. Finally, have we got an actual lock? Seven. It's not giving me a. There we go. Finally. Oh, that was a long time, a long way behind. Let's come back out and just see. Give it a moment. Now they've both had a one lock already, so that was from a cold start. Very quick from the S4, I thought. Four, nine, yep, definitely the S4 wins the GPS test, without doubt. Um, I can't think why the N5 would be this slow, to be honest. Looking for GPS location. There he goes. Yeah, so it's a long way behind this for snapping on very quickly. The S4, the clear winner. Okay, let's move on to the benchmark. And 2 2 I've gone for. To be honest, I'm a bit out of touch with benchmarking software. I don't know if this is a good one or not. Um, do I just go ahead and. Yeah, whatever. Just. Go for it. Now, obviously, you need to watch the whole of this thing. I'll uh, I'll spin on through, and we'll come back. Well, really, for the result, I suppose. There we go, so the 
final results, the S4 clocking in at 29,074 round about slightly above the average um, the Nexus 5 25,000, did we get it? No. Um, so there we go I see it gives you the different Different scores for the different things, not that tiny little do we have any more detail? No. Do I see them fine? This one is, I should point out, I say it's stock, it is on 4.3, um, but the latest version of 4.3, the one that's just been released. Uh, so in theory, the N5 has got the faster clock speed look compared to the 1900 there. Almost identical pixel density. It gives you all kind of info, doesn't it? Temperatures, Android version, SDK. Anyway, so there we go. The S4 has won the uh, the benchmark. Okay, okay. We're going to do the uh, speaker test now. I have to be very careful. I'm just going to check the volumes are full. You can see that there. Look. I have to be very careful not to play for too long because. Basically, my video will get taken down of YouTube or goodness knows what. We're going to go a bit old school here. We go with Bell Biv Devone Poison. relatively clear the S4 got a much better much better speaker the N5 a little bit tinny not really any bass not quite the same volume I should point out actually sorry I didn't show you the speaker on the the N5 apparently just one speaker even there's two grills there's only one speaker in there the speaker on the S4 is actually at the back at the bottom there now a lot of people get upset because I'm playing it with the with the speaker kind of pointing down into the table, but that's how it's designed, you know, and it should obviously reverb off the table. And again, it's designed that way. So. That's quite clear, to be honest. I'm not going to bother play anymore. What we will do though is just go into a podcast. Now I've downloaded the same one, what the papers say. You are listening to a programme from BBC Radio 4. You are listening to a programme from BBC Radio 4. Well, I forgot whether the playback speed has changed that, so it's the same. There we go. Welcome to What the Papers Say. Welcome to What the Papers Say. So I think that again you can tell the difference with the volumes. I think the uh, the sound quality for the Nexus sounds a bit better in, in on a just a, like speech. We've been hiking up their prices. The mail on Sunday splashed with... Art. We've been hiking up their prices. The mail on Sunday splashed with... Art. So definitely the S4 has got more volume. The N5, I don't know, the sound quality is not too bad. When it comes to music, well... Yeah, I wouldn't bother. But then, why would you? Why would you use your phone to play music and dance around your bedroom? Perhaps yeah, I hope you wouldn't. Um, but audiobooks, podcasts. Bishop Dam's energy price hikes. The Archbishop himself, a former. That is such a good speaker. Bishop Dam's energy price hikes. The Archbishop himself, a former. S four has such a good speaker. Um, so definitely, the S four wins the speaker test. So before we start the browser test, I thought it was just worth having a quick moment to sort of recognise the fact that the S4 can fit a whole extra row. Oh dear, so embarrassing the crack screen. I do apologise. It'll be fixed soon, but I figured you want to see the video as quick as possible. Um, so yeah, the S4 fits a whole extra row of icons in the N5 
you just see the, just a sneaking in the bottom there. Um, so, plain and simple, I'm going to tap on one of these pages, we'll go for the BBC iPlayer. The M5, I think, unless, and I'd almost need a slow motion replay, unless I tap the M5 just too quick, I'm not entirely sure. Um, it looked like the M5 won that. Yeah, I mean, that was that was very clear, the M5 won that very fast browser in that instance. We'll give it, uh, we'll give it one more while, what can we load? Uh, TV catch up. Oh, I should say I've not actually used the browser on either phone since the install, so they are. Uh, I didn't clear the cache specifically, but uh, I've not used it, so it can't have cached anything. Let's try something else. Try NFL.com. See that looked like that registered my touch quicker. I would say that was still a faster a faster load. Let's have a look at the now. I mean, you might. I'm, I'm fairly sure the cracks in my screen aren't affecting it. Is there any difference there? I don't know. You decide. They both seem pretty slick to me. I would have said. I think the N5, N5 is maybe a little smoother. Yeah, it's almost like the S4 just jerks a little bit. And that does seem very slick. Um, so browser test, we have to get to the N5, I think. Uh, so the what did it win? It won the browser test, it won the game loading. Um, but pretty much the S4, easily won the GPS, won the benchmark, best speaker, fits more on the screen. I don't know. Tough. I mean, you have, I suppose you have to bear in mind the M5. This costs two hundred ninety-five pounds. If you were buying this in a shop, still, I think probably like five hundred pounds. So, you know, it's almost a mid-range mid-range device by its price. The M5. So I think you have to give it its credit. But to me, the S4 has won that showdown. So. My name's Andy, I'll uh, catch you all again soon. If you want, you might be thinking about the cameras, what's going on with them, I will do a separate camera test. I've done a video uh, comparison, um, which the M5 did surprisingly well, uh, but I will do camera tests as well. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out. My name's Andy, I'll catch you all again soon.